That! Can it do 24 hours straight? With the stick at the wheel, we were in business. Two, 24. We're not bottom! Boston Bowl, let's go down there and mock. Sadly, we couldn't. Because this was a 24-hour race, we also had to do three practice laps at night. Fears come back badly. They let my fears come back hideously. Yeah, not. really terrible. It's looking at you is making me more scared. I went first, and it turned out my fears were justified. People are trying to get round with this light everywhere. Jeez, and when? I don't remember anything. This really is all you can see. You have to aim for corners and just sort of hope they're still there. It's terrifying. Then it was Jeremy's turn. Holy cow, I can't see a thing! He tried to cure the lack of visibility with speed. I just took bridge corner flat, first time out, oh, I'm off! People behind must be thinking, who is this clown? Amazingly, the Stig went faster at night than he had in the day and put us an astonishing 42nd on the grid. That's great! Yeah! Don't, don't touch him! With James's qualifying in the bag, everything looked good for the race. But then... James's Richard, what's happened? Tell us. The uh, throttle went mad, gearbox seemed to explode, everything. Hang on, I'm coming in. We now had a good starting spot on the grid, but nothing to start with. Our £11,000 Retmobile was in serious trouble. That's made a mess of them. Our race chief reckoned we'd blown the turbo, the clutch and the flywheel. But we never quit. Top Gear Technology Centre, innit? <laughs> While Steve set about the car, we set about our high-energy supper. I am, um, I'm not worried that it's not going to be fixed. The only worry I have is that if Steve has to work through the night tonight to fix it, when we do the race tomorrow, he has to work through tomorrow night. It's a three-day. Mm. Yeah. I'm not bothered about that either, as now I come to think of it. 